Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is June 7th, 2021, and today is Monday morning. So welcome back, everybody. And looking at the highlights of today, we're watching the major pairs make a comeback versus the US dollar. Now there's no major economic events scheduled for today. So as we look at the various markets, starting out with the Forex pairs, major pairs making a comeback. Now looking at the indices, both the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones gained nicely after the NFP came out last week. And looking at commodities, gold regained some of its losses from last week and oil pretty much unchanged. Looking at the stocks, it was a mixed bag, but mostly gains in the tech sector. I'm gonna take a look at that as well. And lastly, Bitcoin really unchanged, okay? It's pretty much flatlined, which is a good sign. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're looking here at the EURUSD starting out with a four hour chart and you can see we had this V formation last week after we sold off to 21100. This is great and I'll tell you why it's great because it's not just the EURUSD that made this type of move. It's all of them, all the major pairs. If we look at the Aussie USD, same kind of formation. If we look at the GBP USD, also same kind of formation. Now it's tapering off here, but this is good. This is a news event. This is what we call fading the news, where we have a opportunity when we have a knee jerk reaction and then a correctional move back into that original area that we were at. And then we kind of like settle down, okay? But altogether, we're consolidating still Okay, and making this kind of sideways or range bound trading area between this 142 and 140-ish level, 141-ish level, but that's more correct. And we're right smack in the middle of that, okay? Now, you get these opportunities after you so often where there's a news event and we make a knee-jerk reaction and then a correctional move right after that, and that's fine, okay? But altogether, we're unchanged in the Forex symbols and just a telling sign that we're in summer trading. Now, looking at the USD RAND, okay? This is another one that we need to look at because this has gained tremendously over the past year since the height of the pandemic last year when the RAND was at 19 RAND per dollar, okay? So that's a tremendous comeback for the RAND now we're trading right now at 1340. This is getting into a very heavy place of support, okay? Now, if it does break around this 1311, then we could see it back into the 11-ish level, okay? Which is really a tremendous correction for the RAND. Now looking at a monthly, just to give us a perspective, remember 10 years ago, we were trading at eight, seven, Okay, so we've got a long way to go in order to for us to make that correction of the move. And you could see that 1310 on a longer time scale is quite important. So really very important to us as we're looking at the RAND as well. Now looking at gold, all right, this is really another one that mimics some of the formation that we just had with the other pairs, okay, with the Forex pairs versus the US dollar. We had that initial knee-jerk reaction where we sold off and then that correctional move that came up above it. Now we're trading in between our upper range, lower range, but I think we'll be continuing to train in a range until we see a breakout maybe in the next couple of months, either on the upside or the downside. Now looking at oil pretty much unchanged at $69 a barrel, 69.17, which is in the lower end of it. But this has had a really nice run over the past two months, okay? Coming from April, uh, April May, June, to where we are now, I mean, we've we've rallied over 30 points. So a, a really decent rally for oil as we're going into the summer months. Now looking at the Dow Jones, okay, very similar to some of the other uh, perspective. We had a, a we had a open with a very strong open and a continued buying throughout the whole time. Okay, so this moving average, a 30-day and 8-day moving average, is quite important right here as we're going into today's session. Now remember, we're summer trading. Okay, so I don't expect major major moves, but you know, like it's it's going to go, okay? It's it's going to be, you know, uh, I think we're going to also be trading within a range here, okay? Somewhere up on the upper range of 34,800, on the lower range, 34,400-ish level. So in the Dow Jones, I'm looking at the NASDAQ, you could see pretty much we're flatlining, okay? All together, even though the stocks were kind of strong. Firstly, who's the strongest? Facebook. 
Facebook is the strongest. Every time Facebook retraces, goes back to its close to its all time highs. Now it's at 328, 330 is its all time highs. Looking at Apple also gained last Friday. So it's really the tech sector that gained. Amazon didn't gain so much, but Microsoft did gain a little bit there. Um, if we look at Microsoft, let's look at that. A nice little gain, pivot move, about $4, a nice gap up and go. So I'd like to see extended buying, but I'm not sure if we're going to get that because it's summer trading. Just keep that in mind. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, this is what's beautiful about this. Flatlining, okay? Flatlining is good for Bitcoin because it means that if the selling has stopped, at least for now, until the frenzy starts again and we go back and make back some of our real estate that we've lost from 63,000 down to 36,000. So almost half, which is normal, okay? Since we had a really tremendous run on Bitcoin over the past year. Um, so I anticipate it's going to consolidate closer to the upper range and then it's going to, you know, make a correction. It's a matter of time. Okay. It's not a matter of will it, it's a matter of when. So keep this in mind, keep it on your radar, even if it's summer trading. This is Fred Razak. We wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.